The second thing that I would say is that we are introducing legislation to make sure that there is a minimum service level that should provide people with peace of mind, that there will always be an NHS there for them and indeed other blue light services that they need. It's just unfortunate that other parties in the House of Commons, Labour and the Liberal Democrats, won't support that legislation in order to make sure that there will be a minimum level of service for everyone. Well, maybe that has something to do with the fact that, unlike other countries with minimum service levels, Sunak's government wants to be able to sack nurses. Actually sack the nurses who sacrificed so much to keep us safe during the pandemic. And Gove forgets to mention the fact the government also wants to force firefighters, teachers, rail and border staff to work against their will, robbing millions of workers of their democratic right to withdraw their labour and again allow them to be sacked if they refuse. It's absolutely outrageous. And whilst the Prime Minister keeps telling Parliament this... They're, they're present in France, in Italy, in Spain. Sunak wants workers sacked if they refuse to comply with his bill. That's not the case in France, Italy and Spain. Gove is suggesting in this interview that the government's focus on this legislation is about ensuring minimum levels of safety during strike action, but unions representing health workers never strike in the absence of agreeing minimum service provision with employers on a voluntary and mutual basis, something which Gove concedes. I'm conscious that uh, uh, ambulance workers, nurses and others, uh, when they do go on strike action, and I don't approve of it, um, I have to say, but they do take steps in order to ensure that they can uh, uh, look after the, the most urgent emergency cases. So if this legislation was just about public safety, it simply isn't needed. But I'll give the final word to Pat Cullen, General Secretary of the Royal College of Nursing. And that's what flies in the face of this um, further legislation that this government has um, decided to impose. Um, minimum staffing levels are not available for our patients or indeed our nurses on any day of the week. So to try and suggest that we're going to have minimum staffing levels on a day of industrial action is just so far removed from reality and in fact is a total insult both to our patients and to nurses. Um, it just doesn't happen. You cannot have minimum staffing levels with 47,000 on fill posts. So I do not know how this government is going to do this. Uh, we've campaigned year on year for minimum staffing levels to be put in place, safe staffing legislation to protect our patients and to ensure that our nurses, our brilliant nurses, can do their jobs um, and continue to provide safe care and treatment. But they cannot continue to do that with 47,000 on fill posts.